Hey everyone, welcome to part 50 of Let's Play Final Fantasy, brought to you by Game1.com. At last, the final battle here. Wah! Need one for words. It's death gaze. It's gonna suck. So I'm gonna pump myself full of uh, white robes. Oh yeah, I'll haste retro. Use a Proterra. And use a rune staff. Oh yeah. Good thing I am using a rune staff. Because oh my god, it's gonna suck. Oh wait, I got plenty of white robes. Him use a white robe. Him use a white robe. Lady use Hilaga. And use Moon's Death. I want to com completely neutralize Death Gaze. This would be the way to do it. I don't think he casts much devastating magic. Hopefully not. Maybe I should feel more confident to buff now. I need another white robe. Just for good measure. Just to be on the safe side. This is the final boss. Once I take him out, then I can go to the final dungeon of the game. And thank God for that, too. I've been holding off on the main story long enough. Damn! I forgot Death Gaze has a super high defense. That's what's gonna make this fight very unpleasant. I go mega all over again. Death Gaze has super high accuracy too. That's what I gotta watch out for. That's why he's hitting so hard. Not to mention the speed. How the hell, lady? Use a Diacha. And now we're making some damage. Seems how Death Gaze is undead. Yeah, that didn't do much at all. We're better off buffing. Keep our evasion up even higher. And heal too. I should have like switched a weapon. You know what, Retro, get rid of the Excalibur. And put on the Sunblade. Super effective against undead. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, it's a strategy that works. I'm making some headway. I gotta use a type advantage here. I say that's gonna make the difference. Why do I keep forgetting that part? Maybe I should have Mike using Temper as well. And have Lady use the Rune Staff. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with from now on. So all Death Gaze is doing is attacking. He's not even using anything special. 
If someone was very lethal in Final Fantasy VI, provided your party is all like a party with levels of five, like it's divisible by five anyway, he pretty much owned you. Because he started with level five death each time. And we all know what happened there. Anyway, this battle should not take too long. But I can do more damage. Just gotta keep this up. Eventually I'll win. It's only inevitable. The invisibles were really helping. Eventually, death gaze will fall, like I said before. Yeah, it's hard to come up with very exciting commentary for a very slow boss battle. That's what it is, this boss battle is slow. He has a ton of health, too. Use another room step. And Mike, why don't you use Pyraga? Oh, Flare! Use Flare! Oh no, he's got the spell! That means all my bots are gone! That sucks! I mean, I'm still gonna win, but that means I gotta re buff. Well, I don't have to lose all. I don't lose all my buffs, all that happens is, like, my haste is gone. Probably my Invisera and Proterra as well. So it might be a good idea to get those ready again. Fuck everyone else stuff too, just in case. God, he has the spell. Man, I'm still doing a lot of damage. I'm not nervous. I missed. Got him. There, it's over. Means I'm finished with the Soul of Chaos dungeons for good. Get a Lightbringer! A uh, Lightbringer, I don't... Oh wait, Ragnarok I can't equip. But... From what I heard, there could be a better treasure. So I'm gonna stay stage just in case I miss it. Oh, never mind. It was in a different room. Ultima Weapon. It's bound to the Wheeler's HP, it's better off for Retro to have it. Yeah, I say we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, we got the best sword in the game. Ultima weapon. Oh, we're gonna kick some ass. Now let's head for the final dungeon. Of course I'm gonna buy some shit, but I'll be doing that off footage. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, once I'm done with my prepping, we head for the, for the Chaos Shrine. Again. See ya everyone.